everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear It, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, of course, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about things that I no longer buy in 2023. I love doing these types of videos because not only do they make you think about what you're spending your money on, but I love them because I hate the idea of every video that I put out being something that's encouraging you all to shop. So today's video is encouraging you not to shop, specifically on these things that I'm gonna be talking about. So if you wanna see things that I no longer buy in 2023 and why let's go ahead and jump right into this video Alrighty, I'm super ready to jump into this list because I know it's gonna have y'all talking, but before I do, I'll go ahead and share my outfit of the day really quick. I'm wearing this really cute navy and white striped blouse. This is from Shein. I love the puffy sleeves on it, and I love that it's kind of boxy and oversized. It's very lightweight, perfect for spring and summer. Get this top, it comes in a few different colors. I also have one, of course, my comfortable Levi 501s, red little ballet flats from Shein, and a red belt. Yeah, we're going with the red, white, and navy today, feeling a little patriotic. I guess, I guess, but I love this outfit. It will be linked in the description, even though I'm trying not to just encourage y'all to shop. It will be linked, okay? So don't get mad. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this list of things we are no longer buying in 2023. Okay, we're jumping right into this list and we're starting off controversial with the first thing and that is expensive greeting cards. I am no longer buying expensive greeting cards. I had to ask myself, why am I spending $7.99, $9, $10 on a card? You can get a bouquet of flowers for $5.99. You can go to the bargain section of a store and get a card for 99 cent. Trader Joe's has amazing cards for a dollar, okay? TJ Maxx has really great cards. They range between $2.99 or $1.99. So I am just no longer spending a lot of money on greeting cards. I just think it's wasted money. You can get somebody a really nice candle at Ross or TJ Maxx for $5.99. So it's like, why not just do something like that versus spending a bunch of money on a card? I have this card right here for my boyfriend for his birthday. I'm not gonna show the front because I don't want him to see it. I forgot to give him to him for his last birthday, so I'm gonna keep it for this year's birthday. But this card is $7.99, $7.99. Like, and it's nice, I'm not gonna lie, it's a really beautiful card, but that's the last one. That's the last one. From now on, I will be getting my cards, like I said, in the bargain section, or I will be supplementing the card for like a candle, a bouquet of flowers, or something like that. These card, This card from TJ Maxx is $1.99. You guys, it's so cute. I don't know who it's gonna go to, but I think the message on it is super cute. This is one of Trader Joe's cards for a dollar. Um, this is a Trader Joe's card for a dollar. Uh, this is a Trader Joe's card for a dollar. Um, this is a Mother's Day card from TJ Maxx for $2.99. And look how pretty it is. This is another Mother's Day card from TJ Maxx for $1.99. And it's so pretty and it comes with like a little gift card envelope in there. Stop spending a bunch of money on expensive cards, y'all. It's just not necessary anymore, and it's wasted money. And honestly, do people actually hold on to cards anymore? I, I keep every card anyone has ever given me. I have them all in a box, and I tend to read them when I get depressed and stuff like that. But not everybody is like me. Do you guys think people really hold on to these cards? No, they take the money out or the gift card out and throw it away. So I'm not spending any money on cards anymore. If I do, it'll just be a couple of dollars, or I'll replace the card with a cute little inexpensive gift. The next thing that I am no longer buying in 2023, and I know this one is gonna hit, is jewelry. I am a fashion influencer, and yes, I am saying I am going to stop buying jewelry, unless it's to support a small business, unless it's like to, to promote something really, really cool, like some jewelry that really lasts, that's not real, but that really does last, or something like that. I'm not buying it because I think I have enough jewelry and I think you do too. We have enough rings, earrings, bracelets, all that stuff. We really don't need to buy anymore. Like I said, unless it's a special occasion or unless you are an influencer and of course you need to promote certain things and you get an offer to promote something that's really good. Like I've been looking for a really good jewelry brand, but honestly at this point I'm like, you know what? Do I really need to add anything else? 
else. So jewelry is something that I'm really not gonna be adding to my collection. This is something that I will request from others as gifts, but as far as me buying it, I won't be buying anymore because I have enough and you do too, sis. You don't need no more damn earrings. You don't need no more rings. You don't need no more necklaces. Like I said, unless I am supporting a small business, like I love the brand XOXO Bijou. It's a black owned business and I love supporting her. So when she comes out with her new lines, I like to show my support. So I will do something like that. But other than that, I'm not gonna be just randomly buying jewelry anymore. I have too much. I would say I have enough, so we're done with that. No more jewelry in 2023, but if you wanna buy me something, go ahead, boo-boo. <laughs> Another thing that I will no longer be buying in 2023 is apps. And specifically, I'm talking about apps on my phone. I have way too many on my phone that I don't use. And honestly, I don't know what I'm paying for and what I'm not paying for. You know how when you sign up and it tells you to click and you don't know if it's charging you through Apple Pay or whatever you set up when you set up your phone? I don't know what the hell I'm paying for on my phone. I have so many apps on my phone that I don't even use. I'm not the most tech savvy person and I really honestly don't like being on the phone a lot. I do editing on my phone and it is like the most grueling task ever for me to just sit and edit on my phone. Grueling. I'm a creative. I hate technology, but I use it to do what I have to do. But at the same time, I have all these apps that are just sitting on my phone. I really need to sit down and like go through them and see what I'm paying for and what I'm not and also get rid of the ones that I no longer use. But the thing I'm scared of is if you just exit off your phone, does that mean you're not paying for it anymore? Like, I need to figure that out because, girl, I'm not trying to take it off my phone and then still be paying for it. It's still coming out of my account. Like, that's a problem. But yeah, no more apps for me unless it's like something really, really important that I need or something that I find just so useful that I just can't pass up. I'm not buying any more apps. So we're done with the phone apps. Another thing that I am no longer buying in 2023 is like little souvenirs when I'm on vacation. I'm talking about lighters, shot glasses, t-shirts, things like that. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore because I find that people usually trash that stuff. Honestly, I think it's a better idea to get somebody something that's wearable, like a nice scarf or a really nice hat or a sarong or something like that. I bought my mom a beautiful scarf from Paris and she is obsessed with it. And every time she wears it, she tells people, yeah, my daughter bought me this from Paris. I bought her a really nice handmade poncho from Mexico. She loves that. She loves telling people, oh yeah, my daughter got me this when she was in Mexico. So um, yeah, this is like my little Mexican poncho. Like we fill in all of that. But as far as the little shot glasses and crap, it's like, who's holding on to a Las Vegas shot glass or a Georgia shot glass? And I know some people have little shot glass collections of everywhere they've been. Is it tacky? <laughs> Look, I don't want to fit nobody, but honestly, it's like, okay, all right, all right. But if I had like a little bar or if I, you know, my boyfriend had like a man cave or something, I couldn't understand having like a little collection of shot glasses that you collected. But honestly, it's not really for me. <laughs> I just like a nice, clean, cute little shot glass, not something that says Vegas or Atlanta or whatever. So I'm done with that. As far as the little knick-knack souvenirs, I will not be buying them anymore. I would much rather pick up something useful, like a nice hat, a poncho, a wrap, a sarong, a scarf, something like that, that I can say, here you go. This is from Africa. Africa. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move on to the next item. The next thing that I am no longer buying in 2023 is food in bulk. And when I say food in bulk, I'm talking about a huge box of granola bars, giant boxes of cereal. I love Costco. I am a Costco girl. And you know, I love to go there and get like salmon and stuff like that because they have really good wild caught salmon at like a bargain price. I love to go get crab legs and stuff like that from Costco if I know I'm gonna be cooking that type of meal. But what I'm no longer doing is going buying like these huge things of non-perishable items because they tend to go stale or expire before I even get to use the huge big box. Like I live alone, so it just doesn't make any sense for me to continue buying like huge boxes of food, particularly non-perishable items. Instead, I just buy what I need and what I wanna have stocked in my cabinets and then I buy fresh items as I need those fresh items like meats and vegetables and things like that. I no longer just buy huge things of bulk items because like I said, I was just wasting a lot of food that way. I would go to Costco and I would get huge huge things of noodles and rice and this and that. And then before I know it, the stuff has gone stale or a huge box of granola bars, it's gone stale. A huge box of Rice Krispie treats, it's gone stale before I can use them all. Like I get to the bottom of the box and they're like hard as a rock. 
I'm done doing that. I hate the idea of wasting food and throwing away food these days because it's like throwing away your money, okay? So no longer buying food in bulk unless it's like really fresh items that I know I'm gonna cook right away. I'm not gonna be stocking up and plus, it takes up too much space anyway. I know some of you all out there have big families, you know, you have multiple kids, grandkids that come over a lot. In that case, I think it makes total sense, but it doesn't make sense for me, cause it's just me here, okay? I have company sometimes, but really it's just me, so. No more of that, no more huge bulk food items for me. I'm saving my money. The next thing that I will no longer be buying in 2023 is plastic Tupperware. I am so over plastic Tupperware. Not only does it stain, but it holds odor as well. And after you use plastic Tupperware for a certain amount of time, it starts to release chemicals into your food that can potentially be harmful to you. I mean, I can't think of a worse reason, like to stop using. No, we're done with the plastic cheap 1930s Tupperware. Now these days I prefer to buy glass Tupperware, like these beautiful glass containers that I got from TJ Maxx, or I prefer to buy um, non-toxic Tupperware that is made out of, I forgot what the material is of these bowls. These are from Amazon, I will link them for you all. But it's a, it's a different type of material, if you guys can hear. It's almost like a clay. Um, if you drop these, they will shatter because they're not your typical plastic um, bowls. But I love this type of Tupperware as well. And I have like glass Tupperware in all different sizes. I just cannot, you know, mentally accept that I'm using something that is literally releasing toxins into my food. So, you know, me with food, like I'm such a foodie that it's just like, no, I don't need nothing messing with my food. So I prefer to use like safer um, Tupperware and also Tupperware that is made out of like the plastic that's non-toxic and things like that. And um, yeah, so no more of the cheap classic Tupperware. Um, I find that it just builds up into your place and takes up so much space. And before you know it, you have a million different pieces of Tupperware, no lids to it, like or hardly any of it has lids. It's just like, but when you buy something nice like this, you're gonna take care of it, you're gonna keep track of it, and you're gonna make sure you know where the lids are. So I like the idea of having really nice Tupperware. So no more cheap plastic Tupperware in my apartment. I got rid of all of it basically. I maybe have like one or two like larger Tupperwares that I use for the freezer for soups and stuff. But other than that, I use disposable plastic Tupperware only and I'll use it once and then get rid of it. So that's where I am with that. Okay. Another controversial one. The next thing that I am no longer buying in 2023 is hangers. Now, I know some of y'all are like, what, you don't buy hangers anymore? Hear me out though. My thing is, if you are in need of more hangers, it's probably because you are adding something to your wardrobe. So personally, what I used to do is when I would add stuff and I see, oh, I'm low on hangers, or I'm out of hangers, go buy more hangers. So I'm just buying hangers to accommodate more and more stuff. Now, if I see that I need hangers for new stuff, that just means I need to get rid of some stuff. Like that means I need to go in my closet and do a little mini clean out to get some more hangers clear. I'm not just gonna keep adding and adding and adding and adding. Instead, I'll go in my closet and see what am I no longer wearing, what could I stand and get rid of or donate, and then I'll find some hangers that way instead of continuously buying more hangers. So that's the thing, I'm not like replacing hangers with something else or just giving up on hangers. What I now do is if I bring new items into my place, instead of going out buying another pack of hangers and another pack of hangers, I actually do a little mini clean out of my closet to see how I can get rid of some stuff to make room for the new stuff and use those hangers. So I'm not buying hangers anymore, but basically what I'm saying to you is that instead of buying hangers and adding and adding and adding to my wardrobe, I'm now thinking differently about that. So the hangers are just kind of like the fall guy in that situation, but yeah, no more hangers, y'all. The next thing that I am no longer buying in 2023, and I know this one's gonna rattle some feathers as well, but it is gift cards. I no longer really give gift cards unless a person specifically asked for that. I would prefer to actually ask them, is there something that you want that's in the 50, 80, $100 range? Or I would rather just give them cash. Like $50 in cash to me is better than $50 in a gift card. 
I don't know about you guys, but when I think of the difference, like just give me the cash. Like, and these days people actually need it. So, you know, a lot of people are on hard times right now. So it's like, if you gonna go to Target and give me a $50 gift card, just give me the $50 in cash. And then not to mention, there's a lot of fraud around gift cards. There was a scam going around where people would actually be able to pull your money off of gift cards or use them. I don't know how that was happening, but a lot of people were giving away gift cards and then when the person goes to use them, it doesn't work. It's no money on it. So, and then some gift cards have fees, like particularly Visa gift cards and things like that. Some of them actually have fees. So the person doesn't even get the full amount or you on your end as the buyer have to pay that fee in order to get them the full amount. So it's like, I'm not really doing gift cards. I'd rather just give a person a card with $50 in it or just give them the money or ask them like, is there something you want in like the 60, 80, hundred dollar range? Like just ask them, they might say, oh, I really want those sneakers that you have girl. Like I love those little white Nike. You know, they might actually tell you something very specific and you're like, girl, say less. <laughs> so no more gift cards for me, too much fraud, fees, issues with those, I'm done. Now, another thing that I am no longer buying in 2023 is purses. Now, I know at first I said I was no longer buying large purses because I really don't like huge, bulky purses to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I prefer small statement bags, but now I'm not buying hardly any purses anymore unless it's vintage one of a kind or something that's like super special or unless it's gifted to me, y'all, I'm an influencer. Unless it's gifted to me, I'm gonna push it on y'all if it is, y'all, sorry. But unless it's gifted to me, I'm not buying any more purses with my own money. Like I struggle so bad with that. Like now when I go out like to the thrift stores and stuff, I will stand there for 20 minutes debating on a purse because I just don't want to spend my money on any more purses. That's another thing that I just feel like I have enough of. And at what point do you say enough is enough? Like you just keep collecting and collecting and collecting and collecting and you're never giving anything away and you're never selling anything. You're never donating anything, particularly like in the purse category. It's like, when is enough enough? So I've got to the point where enough is enough. Unless it's vintage, one of a kind is super, super special. I won't be buying it in the purse category. Like for example, I found this really cute purse at the thrift store. You guys saw this on one of my recent vlogs. I thought this purse was so special and unique. It's genuine leather, it's vintage. I found out, I did some research on the brand. This purse was like $37 at the thrift store, but I think it's so unique and just really, really cool. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it because I'm not gonna find anything like this again and I love the color of it. So something like that, yeah, I may do. But as far as like shopping for purses the way I used to, I used to shop for purses like I'm shopping for damn juice or you know, <laughs> it's like chill girl. So we're done with purses, on to the next item. Okay, so the last thing that I am no longer buying in 2023 is body sprays and body mists. To me, those things never get used. Like when do you ever get to the bottom of these bottles? Like this one is full, I've had it for like two years. This one is full, as you can see, I've had it for a couple of years. Uh, this one is full, look at this. I've had these for quite some time. This one is down uh, um, quite a bit from Bath & Body Works, but I've had it for so long, this little one, little travel size one. Like these body sprays seem to just sit and sit and sit. Why? Because you're not using them. I'm not using them. I use perfume. Honestly, I think these smell a lot like alcohol. They don't last. I personally think body butters and body creams last a lot longer as far as scent than these like body mists and body sprays do. So I think if you like take a nice shower and then moisturize your body with a nice body butter, like the bum bum creams and stuff like that, or body creams, even the Bath and Body Works body creams, they seem to last longer than these do. Like this scent is gone. Like after it's gone like that, even when you spray it on your skin. So, and then a lot of them do smell like alcohol, like a strong smell of alcohol. It's like they just sit around and linger and linger and linger and they do actually expire and go bad. So it's like, if you know that you're a perfume connoisseur, why then are you still buying this? Like, why are we still buying these when we know we're into perfume? It's like, if you have a huge perfume collection, it really isn't a need for perfume, scented body creams and this, it's kind of a little bit of overkill and you know, honestly, have you ever smelled somebody that walked in a room and they have on too many layers of scents? You can definitely tell, especially if the scents are not like cohesive, you know, if they didn't stick to like the floral category, if they have on like a vanilla, a floral, a musk, it's like, whoa, like, ooh you know, you can tell. So it's better to just stick to like one or two things, maybe just a nice scented body butter and your perfume 
or if you're gonna use these body mists, maybe just stick to that in your body butter. I don't know, but honestly, I'm done with these types of body sprays. They seem to never go away or get completely used up. And when you spray them, they do kind of smell like alcohol. Like I'm gonna spray this one, let me see. I don't even remember what it smells like. Yes, yeah, strong alcohol smell right out the bottle. So it takes a while for the actual scent to kind of take effect. And I don't really like that. So yeah, no more body sprays and no more body mist for me. So sorry, Bath and Body Works. I'm, I'm, I might still go visit y'all once in a while, but I won't be buying that. <laughs> Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about things that I no longer buy in 2023. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you think a little bit and I wanna give this little disclaimer cause I know there's always somebody in the comments that's like, girl, what in the world? If you still buy some of the things that I mentioned, please do not take offense to it. These are just my ideas. And please keep in mind that even though I'm saying I'm not gonna buy these things, there may be occasions where I will have to buy them. For instance, the bulk food items. Let's say I'm going on like a camping trip with a bunch of people. I might have to go buy a big box of granolas. You feel me? But I'm saying, you know, don't take offense to anything that I mentioned in this video. It is not a personal attack on you if you buy some of these things. So I wanted to give that disclaimer, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. I promise you will not regret it. I bring you a little bit of everything on this channel. We doing fashion, we doing beauty, we doing lifestyle, we doing love, we doing shopping, we doing everything, girlfriend. I could go on and on. So make sure you subscribe if you want a little spice and variety in your life. I got you. To all my regulars, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you guys. Can't wait to see what you think in the comments and I will see you all on the next video. Love y'all. Bye.